time for Happy Hour with your host, Happy Marsden, and Sammy the Goose, and Mike Short. Hi, kids. Gee, I hope you're ready for a fun-packed show today. I know Sammy the Goose is ready. <laughs> yeah, Sammy says he's real excited. And I know Mike the bartender's excited. Right, Mike? <laughs> and I'm real excited because we'll watch another episode of Six Gun Justice. And we're going to be hearing from you today because it's Mother's Day. But first, let's start off with the best part of the show, birthday wishes. So, if today's your birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> Sammy says happy birthday too. <laughs> What's that, Sammy? Oh, right, right. <laughs> Mike, the bartender, has a surprise for us today. Kids, do you remember those drawings you sent in? Well, Mike put them up. Gee, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it, kids? Now, it's time <laughs> to uh, see another episode of Six Gun Justice. Mike, uh... Everybody okay? Yes, thank heavens. If those folks had been any closer, we'd have all been flatjacks. And I didn't buy no syrup, neither. <laughs> well, one good thing, it loosened the ropes. Now, let's get untied. We got a couple of double-crossing Jap agents to go after. I don't know about you, boss, but I do my best tracking on a full stomach. Good idea, Cheap Laughs. We'll grab some grub and go over our plans at the same time. Yahoo! Grub! Show me your pots and pans! Oh! Oh! What the great suffering cats! <clears throat> Hold on, Mr. Johnson. I aim to repay you both for all your trouble by cooking you the finest meal in the territory. Gee, that'd be swell, Miss Butterfield. It'd be a lot different than that swell that Cheap Laughs usually rustles up. Swell? Why, I oughta... That's my best recipe! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna stop that radium before it gets into Tojo's grimy little hands. And that means Corral and Slade and Blackie are good. We sure fixed their hearts, didn't we, boss? <laughs> yeah, Blackie, I have a feeling eliminating that Butterfield dame and her two coyote sidekicks is gonna make Tojo real exuberant-like. <laughs> Let's take a look at that deed. Look, boss, it's just a map of the Butterfield place. It don't say nothing about no radium mine. Say, let me take a look at that. Ah, we've been double-crossed. Why, that two-time and ally loving skunk rat sidewind in Butterfield. Let's take a closer look at this thing, Blackie. Hold that light up. Look, boss, there's a secret message. Yeah. Them letters is coming through. Real translucent like. <laughs> Guess that Butterfield wasn't so smart after all. <laughs> so, the secret entrance of that radium mine is in the ranch house, eh? Lucky! Get the pick and shovel. 
We're going to hightail it out to that Butterfield spread real too sweet like. <laughs> Come on, kids. It's time for letters. Let's see what we have here. Uh, oh, this one's from Larry, age nine. Uh, he likes the show and sometimes he tapes it. <laughs> What's that, Sammy? <laughs> Sammy says he bet your dad's doing okay, huh, Larry? <laughs> anyway, uh, he likes Mike the bartender. And his favorite cowboy character is Don Mills. Uh, Larry has a question for me. How come when they get shot, they don't die? Well, Larry, that's a, that's a good question. You see, Don Mills and the rest of the gang, well, they're just actors, and, well, they just make-believe. Well, did you know that, that Don Mills really did die? Yeah, this time it wasn't make-believe. It's, it's kind of an interesting story. His real name was Geraldo Marquez, and he came all the way from Mexico. He didn't make many pictures in Hollywood, and, well, right after Six Gun Justice, he married Lupe Gomez, Mexican Spitfire. She became very popular, and well, he kind of became a flop. But I guess he couldn't handle that, kids, because he started to drink. And, well, he eventually died, and I guess nobody will ever know whether it was an accident or you know, it was on purpose or something. <laughs> There's a picture in the book here. We could, we could take a look at this. Yes, uh, nobody really knows what happened. It was just uh, he didn't lock his Murphy bed one night. And, well, it slammed shut. Kind of a messy business. Well, that's that's kind of a sobering thought. <laughs> Mike, maybe you can do something about that. <laughs> well, let's get back to Six Gun Justice. Mike, let's, uh, let's get back to him. <laughs> 